Hi everyone, this is Tanya Lee of Harmonia Tarot and I just want to give a big apology first before I get into the weekend for September 7th to the 8th. Um, I had taken a little bit of a break and I didn't get to do the weekend one that I usually upload on Thursdays. So my apologies. This is for today, the 7th to the 8th. I'm doing a special one just for today. Um, for the collective to see what the weekend energy is. All right, so let's see what's in play. What our overall energy is. What do we need to know? Calling in our guides, our ascendant masters, our ancestors. What does the collective need to know for the weekend of September 7th through the 8th? Again, this is a general reading. It's not going to be able to connect to everyone, but take what resonates, leave the rest. It's all right, and you know, I offer um, personal readings as well. Just look in the description box below. Flexibility. Buy the book. Woo! I am feeling, <laughs> for some of you, have been in the state of bending over backwards and tired of doing things by the book, okay? I feel strongly about this. I do, I feel for strongly. Now, for some of you, it might be that you have to do things more on a schedule or do things and be disciplined by it, right? This is about a grow growing experience, about walking. You see how these elephants are all tailed? They're doing something that um, you know they're told to do, right? But for I really feel strongly for this. And you know we got a nine and 10, so this is a 10 and 11, basically, these cards, the, the way they go. Um, but I really feel strongly here that we have this weekend that someone is tired of doing things by the book or bending over backwards for other people. We'll see what the cards have to say for the weekend energy. What does the collective need to know? Oop, I got two. That never happens. But I had two, when I, I mean, really, it never happens. I had two cards mixed in here from another deck, the Ace of Rods and the Eight of Pentacles. Um, maybe some hard work that you put in for a new start. You're just like, this isn't the start I wanted. I won't ignore that, those two cards that were in here, because uh, this, this deck was put away, so there shouldn't have been, they shouldn't have been in there. All right, what is the collective here? These are the cards that came out with that. They're not even in this deck that I have right now. I wasn't even using them as my clarifiers. Let's see. What messages do we need to hear? All right, we have the sun. The Hierophant. Victory. Ace of Pentacles, Page of Wands, Page of Pentacles, one more row, Knight of Wands, a lot of fire here so leo sagittarius aries you may be that or another person and earth here as well so taurus uh virgo and um capricorn all right we have seven of cups some kind of confusion Oof. five of swords some kind of yeah i feel like somebody's done with somebody's bullshit yeah, um, I, with this deck, and I don't read reversals on the vice versa deck, this is the two of wands. So if you are a fire sign, um, this is the other person. But I feel like somebody wants a new beginning, a new start, is really looking at the horizon like I am done with bending over backwards for somebody. That And with, with the sun energy, the sun... When it is this way, it's about reflecting, about wanting that new start, okay? When I see it this way, it's about having all the happiness, having it there, but there's some kind of loving, 
loving feeling here with these two, especially this this um, you know this child and this horse. There's some kind of inner knowing. Now this is right next to the the higher font, but the higher font is is not in the front. So there's a contract here that um, I feel like there's some kind of um, there somebody's not happy. Somebody's not happy. Somebody's walking away here in a level, not walking away. Somebody's feeling defeated. Even though that we have the higher font here and the victory card, okay, there's somewhere where someone's happiness is, is they're tired, okay? This victory, if you're looking at the soldiers here, um, he looks like this was a hard, hard battle. This was not an easy battle, okay? He's got people in here that are wounded and, you know, almost comes off as defensive to me. It doesn't look like a good energy to me. So this might be turning a back on a contract or just feeling really run down, feeling really tired. Maybe it's in the home front with this, with this, um, you know, this, this, when you have the Ace of Pentacles here, this is all about, you know, abundance and uh, stability and offer. To me, it's feeling like some kind of location. When you have here the page, um, the page of wands next to it, somebody wants to have more stability. Somebody wants to have a new start. Somebody wants to have that, um, you know, new start here. Now we have two page energies here. We have that, um, page of fire and then we have that page of earth so there's that earth energy again again so these are two pages there's a need for a new start a new beginning new things for stability it's almost like all of this bending over backwards and feeling like i have to do everything by the books to get this new start is like making you feel very heavy you might have somebody in your life that um, really holds, or this may be you too, who's very passionate and creative and is um, really quick on making decisions and rash. Like, you know, like I'm gonna do, we're gonna do this, gonna do that. But it can leave you feeling like, whoa, look at all these opportunities I got. This isn't a clear amount of opportunities. It's almost like, I am tired of bending over like this, juggling, doing the things the way I can do when I know that there's more opportunities out there for something better. Now, if you were reversed in this way, I would say you were like, holy fuck, I don't know which direction I'm going. But I do feel like there's this knowing of, there's gotta be better options out there. I can't be, be doing this way. Now there is this five of swords energy, so this is air, so there's Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. There's somebody within your life that you were just like, I don't, I, this isn't a victory for me. Like I am tired of the everyday, same thing over and over again, same bullshit, same bullshit answers, same repetitiveness. Maybe there's a stalemate in your relationship. You guys are doing the same thing. Um, but somebody feels defeated in this. Somebody is like, listen, I'm tired of putting all this hard work in here. I'm just, I'm done. Now, when it's this way, somebody's really hurt and tired. When it's this way, it's like somebody goes, oh, for fuck's sakes, no, I'm done. And that person is watching. The person is watching that person walk away. That person who goes, there's got to be something better. I can't keep doing this. For those of you who have been putting a lot of work in a project and not getting the credit, you're speaking up. You for sure are speaking up, and that's what that new start is. Yeah, I'm going to clarify some of these cards, though, because I'm really interested. This is a really interesting energy here of, like, sticking up for yourself. Good for you, whoever this is for. I really do feel like, yeah. Oh, yeah, death. You've got death right coming on here. This is an end to something. That's that end, ending I told you that was, that was coming in play. Definitely an end. 
And this is the Ten of Pentacles reverse. Whatever this was did not fulfill you. You saw no growth here. This is all about having abundance and happiness and stability, family happiness. But it's like you're walking away going, listen, I want a new beginning. I want this new start. Three of Wands is right, right behind it. A new foundation. Whew. This is one more card. Yeah, Page of Pentacles. Again, you got two Page of Pentacles here. This is this was reversed to me. So this is somebody, an individual here who wants a new start. Who wants a new start? Okay. When there's when these are back here, this is going. I don't want that start. I'm put enough work into that. You do whatever the hell you want. I'm done being flexible and bending over. <laughs> Seriously, I mean, I'm not trying to be rude here, but I'm not bending over to do anything more in this. Yeah, and you might be a little bit defensive about it, for sure. We got more fire sign here, and um, so we have the nine of wands. This, this might you might be a little bit defensive about it coming off, like you know, like you're putting up your boundaries on this. And I don't blame you to be honest. Yeah, it's gonna put you in the rest uh, in the in a rest state. So four swords here. So you're definitely going to be at rest when with this walking away. And I don't I don't think that's a bad thing. So let's see what the Ascendant Master's uh, message has for you. Um, I'm going to pull one Ascendant Master card for the week uh, weekend of September 7th to the 8th. Serapis Bay Ascension. Move into your true self. Rise above the darkness. The light is here. Move into your true self. I do. I feel it. I feel like a lot of you guys are having the confidence to say, fuck this. Put my boundaries up. I'm speaking up. I'm done with the bullshit. Yeah. For a lot of you. All right. If you like this, go ahead and hit like. Um, feel free to comment below. I love to read everybody's comments. And again, guys, thank you so much for your support on this channel. It has been amazing. I started this channel back in August and I've just been blown away with the responses I've gotten and the encouragement. And, um, you know, when I started this channel, I really started it with just wanting to get messages across for everybody. Uh, since I used to do this more privately. So it's been really eye-opening and I'm just kind of going with it and I really enjoy it. So thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Take care. Have a great weekend.